that the land on which we are gathered is part of the traditional territory of the Chippewa, Odawa, Potawatomi, and Delaware nations. These indigenous nations, known as the Anishinaabe and Lenape, agreed through their ancestral languages to the mutual sharing of land with obligations and responsibilities to the environment. Today, these responsibilities extend to all peoples. Hi, Colin Mockery from Whose Line Is It Anyway here. You know, I've been very fortunate as an improviser to be able to go around the world improvising with different troops and different areas of the world, different cultures, different laughs, different languages. And we've always managed to make a good show because we all know the rules of improv. And I always think to myself, why can't we use those rules in real life? They're very simple rules. They're just things we tend not to do in our day-to-day -day life. Number one rule is listen. Imagine a world where you go head into a conversation with someone, you'll have no preconceived idea of what they're going to say. You haven't made any assumptions as to who they are. You actually just listen to them. You have a dialogue. Number two is you accept an idea and you build on it. Imagine that accepting. So many times, if, when you, in your day to day, imagine how many times you say no to something. As simple as, do you want to do this? No. And that just cuts the conversation dead, stops the activity. Whereas when you say yes, it takes you on all these different avenues and roads you may not have thought. So that's a good one. Number three is um, make your partner look good. Imagine that world where everybody is there to, for each other, supporting each other, valuing each other, respecting, propping up when they need it. You know, as the father of a uh, trans woman, I know how important it is to have a strong support system. She was very lucky and she had friends that respected and valued and supported her. And it's hard for people of that community all the time, especially in school. So it'd be nice if we all tried to support because basically we're all going for the same thing. We all want to be the best we can be. We want to be valued we want to be respected you know and things are changing uh, recently the sarnia lambton school board has officially recognized uh, may 17th the international day against transphobia homophobia and biphobia so that's a perfect yes and example so let's do that 
let's start accepting, let's start listening, let's make everywhere safe, let's respect, let's prop people up when they need it, let's go to people when we need help. We all just want to be the best we can be. So let's take those baby steps towards that. Hey everybody, Mrs. Dent here. I hope you enjoyed meeting our guest speaker. As you know, June is Pride Month, and it's also our National Indigenous Heritage Month in Canada. Thank you so much for sending all of your amazing talent show submissions. Now, Mrs. Robinson and Mrs. Penner and I are gonna go through them all, and we will send you an email on Friday with either a yes or a no. If you don't get an email, please reach out. It means I may not have seen your submission. Thanks so much. Have a great week. I hope you enjoy the good weather. Hi, I'm Lewis. I just wanted to say, keep up all the amazing learning that you guys are doing at home. Check out what Hayden and Jacob did from Mrs. Milne's class. They took apart owl pellets and they assembled a mouse skeleton and they did it all over video. There's so much you can still do.